Hello, this is Rama Lama. Today I'll be covering question 31 from the January 2016 Geometry Regions. So question 31 says the following. In parallelogram R, S, T, U, measure angle R equals 5x minus 2 and measure angle S equals 3x plus 10. Determine and state the value of x. Now, when you're given problems like this, it's really important to study the properties of not just parallelograms, but other quadrilaterals and definitely triangles, okay? You're definitely going to come across, oh, find the missing angle or find the missing side, and it's uh, really up to you to remember these properties that you've been studying. So what, what do we know about parallelograms? We know opposite sides are parallel, we know opposite angles are parallel, and we also know that consecutive angles right? Consecutive angles are supplementary. And this is going to be helpful for us because if we know that these consecutive angles are supplementary, then it helps us put together an equation that can, that can help us figure out what the value of x is going to be. So what does it mean to be supplementary? Supplementary angles shorthand. Supplementary angles are when two angles are put together or summed to give you 180 degrees. Now what are the two angles we're given? Measure angle R and measure angle S. Measure angle R and measure angle S are consecutive angles. That means they're supplementary. So we're going to take these equations and put them together. So we have 5x minus 2 plus 3x plus 10 equals 180. Alright, a nice linear equation. We just need to combine like terms and solve for x. First thing, 5x and 3x. 5x plus 3x is going to give us 8x. Negative 2 plus 10 is going to give us 8. So if we rewrite all of that, that's going to be 8x plus 8 equals 180. Clearly, these two are not like terms. They don't share a variable, so we're going to have to combine 180 and 8. However, this is on the opposite side of the equal sign, so we're going to do inverse operations. Minus 8 on both sides. That will give us 0. We're then left with 8x equals 180 minus 8 is 172. Let's see. We have 8x equals 172, or 8 times x equals 172. Inverse operation means we are dividing by 8 x equals 172 divided by 8 is going to give us 21.5. So determine and state the value of x. If we go back up here, the value of x is 21.5. Now don't put degrees, right? Some of you might say, oh, angles, oh my gosh, degrees. No, that's not what they're asking. Okay, if you, if you see that you have an entire expression representing an angle, x itself is not going to represent a degree. It's just going to represent the value that helps you determine the overall angle. Now, we're not asked to determine the overall angle, so don't bother going that step forward. Just answer the question. Just only give what they're asking. So we're only asked to determine the value of x, put a period, and you're pretty much done. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe and like. Thank you.